Schizo. I'm here. And that is this what we're talking about? It's gonna take me a bit. I gotta go check on security at the border with Ironfield. Check on the rippers there, if you know what I mean. Uh, no, Schizo. I don't got a clue. Why don't you spell it out for me? Nice try, smartass. Remember, I'm going out on a limb here. Don't make me regret it. Anyway, I'll be in touch real soon. In the meantime, make yourself useful around camp. Prove Iron Mike was right for a change. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. You say, you say, John, out. Yeah, that's right. I gotta burn out the rest of these nests. So, what am I doing? Uh, you were saying something? Hey, no skin off my nose. Just doing what I can to help you, bro. That business we discussed? Let's just say, uh, you should head out that way now. Oh, you mean the border with the rivers? Very funny. I meant no such thing. <laughs> All I said was, if you were thinking about taking a ride, or what do you drifters like to call it, riding the open road, now would be a good time to do it. You got me? Yeah, Schizo, like always, I got you. St. John out. Where is it? God damn, this has got to be close. Ah! <laughs> 
get in there. At last. Finished. Should be less freaks around here now. Fuel can. Oh, here we go. That's it. Marauders, good. Yeah, wait for me, huh? Schizo, it's St. John. I'm at the border. You see any of my men around? No, Schizo, it's clear. Look, how much time do I got? Time? Time for what? All I know is I got a card game going on with a few of my guys. A couple of them maybe that should be out on guard duty, but I'm letting that slide. If I had to guess, I'd say we'd be playing all night. So until morning. Got it, Deacon out.
Mine now. Okay. Left. Okay. <laughs> Top and off.
Antibiotics. You gotta find me some antibiotics. These will fix him up, and then we ride out of here, head north, like he said. Deacon St. John, are you there? Deacon, this is Ricky. Over. Damn it, I can't learn to out here. Hey, Ricky, this is Deke. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Deke, where are you? I need to get... Ah, oh, forget it. Sorry, Ricky. I don't have time for this right now. Gunshots, what's going on? We had a run in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it? What is it? Wow. I should have known. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. So, what are you doing out here? What am I doing, Dick? Addy told me to come and get you. Why? What? Hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. What's wrong with Boozer? All I know is Addy told me to find you. When I asked around, I found out you and Schizo were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. The crash site? The medical supplies? It's no big secret, D. Negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the Rippers. Oh, bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there. Had that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. Now, I've been dealing with the fucking Rippers for months. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say. Now you're sounding like Schizo. Schizo, he put you up to this. He told you about the crash site. Ha, <laughs> yeah, great! So now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy? No? Then how'd you find out about it? A drifter up at Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Well, Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. <laughs> so let me ask you something. Can I stop you? Last time I saw you, before last winter, you told Iron Mike to go fuck himself because he wouldn't pay you to bring in survivors. It's not exactly what happened. I remember it pretty clearly. Iron Mike said he'd have nothing to do with slavers. Okay, we never forced anyone to come in against their will. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. You ever think when you roll up on someone, starving out in the shit maybe hasn't slept in days? reach the point where they stop running from men like you, you ever think they don't have a choice? But you took them to the hot springs just to say, earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot, too. Bringing in someone who can't work, can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you.
William. William, if you can hear me, I need you to stop. Addie, what's going on? Loser. Go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? Listen, what are you doing? Listen, we Not need to do arm. this and we need to do this right you now. What? No. Don't you, oh, don't no. you take Deacon. it! No, no, De no, you're not, no way, no, you're not gonna Deacon, do this to him. listen to me. The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is gonna save the arm. Now listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. Addie, we're losing him. Wait! Deacon. All right, all right, all right. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. All right, hey, I just need you to stay hold with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Hold him. Deke. Deke. Okay. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Oh, my goodness. Ah! I'm We're losing. No, no, no. He's losing too much blood. you got to stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the ball. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh, no. Loser, come on, man. Come on. Hold him. Oh, okay, pal, where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him right there. Stop panicking. I'm crying. Uh, hey. You did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer, or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> oh. And you. Hey, hey, okay. You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what? I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know. But it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives. I gotta go help Addy. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon! Get out here! <clears throat> I heard what you did. I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, goddammit. Boozer gonna live? I don't know. But the Ripper saw you, followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself. You are writing checks with other men's blood. I hope you're good with that. You did what had to be done. Mike, wait up. Hey there. What's going on, Blair? Hey. I was in my classroom. See ya. Yeah, well, it just made it easier for you to carve them up. 
Anyway, I... We hope he makes it. He's my friend, too. Hey, listen. Hey, listen, um, thanks for bringing us in, Ricky. Uh, <clears throat> I gotta go. Deacon out. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons. Which one? What do you mean, which one? This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is gonna be there any minute. Oh, Brian out. Oh, Brian! Oh, God damn it. Oh, Brian. Come in. Your friends are here. O'Brien. I told you, they're not my friends. Okay, head in on foot. Yeah, 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 I know. What do you want me to do? Let me know uh, use one of these tracking devices. No, no. Not this time. I'm already tracking this one. Follow the researcher. She's there to investigate an infected subject. The, the freak that was tagging a nearby cave. A cave? You want me to follow armed Nero goons into a cave? Just stay close to her. While you're in range, I can intercept her data. Well, Brian... I'm still working on the info. What you want, don't ask. Why the hell am I talking to you? Oh, Brian, out. Squad, check in. All good. Clear over here. Yep. You sure we're locked down? We're good. <laughs> I heard something. now, can't we? Is what it is, 
tests show. The current evidence suggests that the virus spreads through the lymph system, reproducing and attacking cells on a catastrophic scale. Attacking? More precisely, expressing a series of normally dormant proto-oncogenes into an active state. What the hell is she doing? Cancer. Look at him. Look at all of them. That look like cancer to you? Maybe you're really bad. No. No, no, this is something far worse. What do you mean? This virus is on a mission. The freaks are what they are because the virus wants them that way. What are you saying? I'm saying... Jesus, what am I saying? Terrorism? You're saying this was deliberate? I don't know. Is that it? Is she done? Yeah, okay. Time to get the hell out of Dodge. That? I heard something. Stop! Yeah, I don't want any trouble. Right there! I don't hear that. Virus, whatever the hell it is, or what, what it's doing. I want to know what the hell's going on, O'Brien. Why are they out here? What the fuck are you doing? O'Brien! Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Oh boy, this is gonna get old fast. Lost Lake to Deacon St. John. Are you there? Uh, yeah, Ricky, what's up? Iron Mike says you volunteered to stick around, do some runs for the camp, but that you refused to work for Schizo. Yeah, something like that. Well, I can't say I blame you. Okay, well, I guess I'm stuck with you. So stop by the mechanic shop and we got a job for you. Yeah, okay, Deacon up. Deacon St. John to Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Deke. Hey. Uh, feeling a, a lot of it, you know. <laughs> okay, what's going on? Boozer. Hey. Uh, nothing. I, uh, got tired of listening to the Radio Free Oregon. It only takes so much of his truth or bullshit, you know? Deke, uh, Ad Addie told me how I'd be dead if Boozer, I, uh... It must have been fun. Uh, holding me down while she fucking whacked away at me. 
<laughs> Remember how uh, a Jack carved up that turkey last time we was all together? I kept slipping all over the goddamn table. Yeah, booze man. I remember. You still feel it, you know. Life. Worse than the rippers. If, if you hadn't been there to, to hold me down, I don't know what would have happened, Dick. I don't know. Well, it's done, Boozer. It's done. It's over. Ah, uh, Dick. Uh, sorry, I'm feeling feeling a little woozy. Yeah. Uh, hey, Addie's gonna kill me if she finds out you're out of bed fucking around. Yeah, I, I hear a bunk uh, calling my name. Lost Lake signing off. Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red? Red Riley? Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? What? Red hair? No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. <laughs> no, I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Worked supply before Blair. Wait a second, so he killed an unarmed woman? Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that son of a bitch. Until now. He and his men have been spotted up at Camp Pioneer. You don't gotta ask. I, uh, I got this thing about, um... About killing unarmed women. I know. So I knew you'd want to handle it. Yeah, like I said, I got this covered. Um, what else can you tell me about him? Not much. Oh, wait. He chews tobacco. I heard he was such an addict that he rounds up cigarette butts takes out the tobacco and chews that. Oh, well, that's disgusting. So now I got two reasons to kill him. Yeah, but be careful, Deke. Here for your bike? Hey, how's it going? See you around. John, the Lost Lake in front of me. Come back. Deke! Hey. Uh, I'm feeling a lot of it, you know. You okay? What's going on? Who's... Hey. Uh, nothing. I, uh... I'm tired of listening to the Radio Free Oregon. You know, he takes so much of his truth or bullshit, you know? Ricky, I'm a camp pioneer and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. It sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. Find this guy. Deacon out. Cigarette butts, yes. Ooh, prints. Ah, these Why? look like uh, kind of prints that some fancy cowboy boots would make.
that's tobacco's bed. Right if I need one, one gross motherfucker. Oh, good. You're in. Jesus. Well, if you gotta go, you gotta go. Here you are. I see you. Come on! I'm hit! I'm hit!
can't hide in here. They see me. Deke and St. John, the Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Deke! Hey. Uh, I feel a lot of it, you know. You okay? What's going on? Boozer. Hey, uh, nothing. I, uh, I'm tired of listening to Radio Free Oregon. They only take so much of this truth or bullshit, you know? Deke, uh, Ad Addie told me how I'd be dead if you get the anti whatever the fuck's. Loser, I, uh, it must have been fun. Hold me down while she fucking wiped away at me. Jack carved up that turkey last time we was all together. I <laughs> kept slipping all over the goddamn table. Yeah, booze man. I remember. I still feel it, you know. Life. Worse than the rippers if, if you hadn't been there to, to hold me down. I don't know what would happen. I don't know. Well, it's done, Boozer. It's done. It's over. Sorry, I'm feeling, feeling a little woozy. Yeah, uh, hey, Addie's gonna kill me if she finds out you're at a bad fucking round. Yeah, I've... So, uh, uh, bunk, uh, a couple months ago... We call him my name. Lost Lake signing off. Hey, listen, Boozer. 
Hey, hey, Ricky. I got him. Deacon, what a relief. Lindsay has some folks she was close to. I'll let him know. Yeah, okay. I'll see you around, Ricky. <laughs> 